Seismologists are keeping a close eye on recent earthquake activity in California's Death Valley. A swarm of over 64 earthquakes, including a 4.7 magnitude shaker, has been felt since October 24th, and many of those have been felt in Las Vegas, raising concern about the fault lines that connect us. There's been a little cluster of earthquakes happening right at Stovepipe Wells in Death Valley. The uptick in seismic activity is causing concern. We've been watching it for about two weeks, and just over the weekend, it really started popping off, and there were four earthquakes that were between magnitude four and five. And so it's a, it's a pretty dump and rumble for the folks that are down in, in Death Valley. Dr. Chrissy Rowe is director of Nevada's seismological lab located at the University of Reno. She says Death Valley's very active fault system has a history of stronger quakes and the ongoing seismic activity is worrisome given its proximity to Las Vegas. This computer simulation shows the powerful damaging energy that could be released our way if a serious rupture were to break. We think that the faults in Death Valley are capable of magnitude 6 and 7 earthquakes, and so that's one of the major sources of shaking that we worry about for the Las Vegas Valley. I spoke with Dr. Rowe and her team by FaceTime while they were investigating fault scarps in Genova, Nevada. I asked why Death Valley Fault Zone has been so active in the last week. Dr. Rowe explained while clusters aren't necessarily out of the ordinary, her team is keeping a watchful eye. Clusters of earthquakes happen in Nevada all the time. We It always puts us on a little extra alert to kind of check it out because sometimes a bigger earthquake follows that. And she says the pattern has been when one cluster dies off, another one often starts. And almost always along the Nevada-California border or in the middle of our state. To keep tabs, the Nevada Seismological Network has installed seismic monitoring stations across the Las Vegas Valley to record earthquake activity. One of those devices is on UNLV's campus. While the station helps evaluate and warn the intensity of incoming shaking, many have no idea they exist. Have you ever felt an earthquake here on campus? Personally, I've never felt one. I hope I don't because I don't know how I'll react. Dr. Rowe reminds us that Nevada is the third most seismically active state in the nation, and we need to be just as prepared here as they are in California. She says while Nevada Seismological Lab will keep monitoring Death Valley Earthquake Cluster, she wants us to check out the lab's website for preparedness tips. We have a link to their website at KTNV.com. Reporting in the studio, I'm Shakira Hawkins.